Hi, folks. I'm Steve Adubato. This is a very special event. Yes, it's virtual, but no less special. This is the 25th Russ Berry Making a Difference Award ceremony. Now, listen, of course, because of COVID-19, um, we can't be together this year. Cross our fingers next year we will. But this year we're doing this virtually. 1997. 1997 was the first year that the Rustbury Award started. Um, let's go to 2021. So that's 25 years. Get these numbers. These numbers are powerful. These statistics are staggering in a good way. Over 3,800 unsung heroes have been nominated. 380 individuals have been honored from every corner of the state. And $3.75 million have been awarded in these presentations and these award ceremonies that, by the way, by the way, I've been honored to have been moderating and hosting from the beginning. Now, some of the nominations came in before the pandemic. Some of them came in after the pandemic, but all of the nominees, all of those who we recognize in this virtual event are making a huge, huge difference in their communities. Let's take a look. Paul Winslow from East Hanover, founder of Students to Science, brings together the public and private sectors to change the life trajectory of students from underserved communities through STEM education with real-world applications and real-world solutions. I often tell people there's blue collar, there's white collar, and there's no collar, and I was in the class of no collar. And um, so I grew up in a, a small town south of Boston and uh, was fortunate enough to uh, graduate from high school and go on to college. Got a job at Union Carbide in the Specialty Polymers and Composites Division. I bought a small testing laboratory in Madison, uh, New Jersey. Uh, I did that for about another three, four years. And then I went out on my own and started a, um, a brand new company called QTI. And I sold that in 2007. I woke up one day and I was deathly afraid that I would have nothing to do. So um, one of the things I decided was that education made the difference in my life. And so I decided to start um, Students to Science. From day one, our mission has been the same and has not changed. To inspire, motivate, and educate students from underserved communities to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. You know, 90 plus percent of the students that come to our facility are in underserved communities. I can tell you back in March of, of last year, uh, you know, March 16th was the day when we shut our laboratories down. I didn't think S2S would survive or ever open up again, okay? And that was a very sad day for all of us. We all gathered together and we just, you know, we're like, well, we did the best we could. But we not only survived, but we thrived. And we only thrived because of the hard work, dedication and diligence of all the people involved. And we're really, really excited about opening back up in September and coming back even stronger. So, so that's what it means to me.